Hi, crafty friends. This is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Thanks, guys, for taking a few moments out of your day to share it with me. I super appreciate it. This is my 22nd video, and I'm going to do a haul instead of my normal whatever I do. I don't know what I do, but you know, whatever I normally do. This is a little bit out of the normal. I went to Joann's and Michael's, and they were having an end of the year clearance. And I wanted to show you all the goodies I got. This is from Vegetable Glycerin that I'm going to talk to you a little bit later. It's to make mask. And my daughter got that for 50% off. These little um, stamps, I know you're thinking, what in the world am I going to use them for? They were normally about $2.99. I got them for $1.10. There's two sets of them, so I'll show you in a little bit. And I thought I could use these for some... Uh, art journaling classes, art journaling classes, art journaling pages. Uh, I thought just, you know, do some little bit of simple stamping. It doesn't matter if they get money. All right, this 40 sheets of um, cardstock that I would be perfect for envelopes. It's normally $9.99. Isn't that crazy? I got it for $2.23. It was on clearance and everything that was on clearance was an additional 25% off. These um, planner was not, this accessory storage thing was not on uh, clearance, but I did get it for 50% off. So instead of 20 bucks, I got it for $10 and my daughter is going through a planner stage. So I thought that would be great. Distress Oxide, again, this particular one was not on clearance, but I did get it for 50% off. All right, you guys, this is so fun. I made one yesterday. So you make shapes with it, do whatever you want to do, put a little end on it so you could put some, you know, a pencil on the top of it, and then you bake it and it makes an eraser. It's so cute. I made an abstract art object that was great. I'll get you that price in a second. All right, guys, foil. You know, I've been doing some foiling lately, and these two foils are normally $10.99 and $11.99. I got them for $3.35 and $4.48 respectively. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. And of course, I had to get them 40, uh, four of them. There was only the one, you know, I think that that really, you know, that pink and blue one, I think that one was the most expensive one. There was only one that was expensive. All right, hat boxes, guys. I had to get three of these. Actually, I ended up getting four. All different ones. Normally, $11.99. I got them out the door for $3.73. Isn't that crazy? So, so crazy. All right, I'm trying to find how much that eraser thing was. I'll find it later. Oh, the eraser was normally $8. I got it for $2.97. <laughs> 98 cents. Sorry, but seriously, I had such fun, and I know my grandchildren are going to enjoy it as well. And you know what? Even if we throw it away for three bucks, how fun. But I love these different hat boxes. I got one that was also a very beautiful black and white floral, bigger flowers. Um, that looked pretty great. So yeah, instead of $12, which I don't, I'd never buy these little round hat boxes for 12 bucks, but I got them for $3.73 much less, much more less, much more, whatever it is, it is, uh, it was a great price. All right, so you know that my logo is A7 Size Girl, and I found all of these um, wooden shapes. They're pretty big, right? About a foot and a half, 18 inches, maybe a little bit, a little bit smaller. Normally between $2.99 and $3.99. I got them for a dollar ten piece and I got all of them. All of my um, letters. All right, guys, these this lettering set, $30 normally. 30 bucks. Seriously, who would ever buy this stuff for that price? What did I get it for? Hmm, let me check. Eleven twenty-three. Isn't that great? I got a deal. I got a really good deal. Our, oh, you guys, these leather journals, they have about 100 sheets in them. They wrap around like this. Super cute. Normally, $19.99. I'm sorry, $18.99. I got them for $3.73. I bought 10 of them. No joke. I figured these are going to be great gifts for someone that I really don't know who. But it's a $20 gift for $3.73. Super cute. And when it gets worn... And, you know, a little bit distressed. It's going to look even better. All right, what else do we got in here? 
I had so much fun. I went four days. It was terrible. Okay, so I don't know really the original prices on these because it was very difficult for, to find. But if you're looking, if you see that it has an additional, just remember that if you, when you see the red tag, it has an additional 25% off. So let's see this one. I did write this one down. But these are really cute for planners. Let's see, was it normally $3.97? Yep, Wisdom Flowers. Uh, it was. It's normally $10.99, but I don't think that's the actual price. Normally, um, and then it was on on clearance for $3.97. I got for $2.98. And these are going to be cute. They're not marked, so you can put them in any order that you want to. Very pretty. My daughter took what she wanted and left the rest. And I thought for this price, man, she could have a really great journal. It'll probably cost her the original plot price because we did so many different ones, but she got exactly what she wanted. She used um, certain things out of each one of, a, each one of these packs and it was great. This erase, erase board, it's not really a board, it's just a sheet, but it's, it's so you can write it and erase it. Normally $2.97, I got it for $2.23. I'm sorry, the clearance price was $2.97. I got it for $2.93. And let me see if I can find... Oh, it's normally $8. $8 for that. Good gravy. Silly, silly, silly. But yep, then she can write a lot of different things. Two pieces, $8 normally. It's called a dry erase dashboard. Normally, I think about 8 bucks. I got it for $2.23. All right, look at this huge sticker pack marked $5.97. Um, and I think it was normally $11.99. I got it for less than $4.58, $4.59. Just want to make sure I have these. Some of these are, some of these um, sticker packs are up to $22. Is this the fitness one? Oh my good heavens. Such a cute little, you know what I mean? And she gets to pick and choose what she wants. Oh, this was $5.97. Yep, so I got it for $4.97. And this was between $20 and um, $12 normally. I couldn't find exactly, because, you know, these are all last year's, but who cares? It's not like they're marked, you know, the dates or anything. This cute little glitter brush, normally $7.69. I got it for $1.85. Um, the, this is texture paste right here. Let me see what I did get this for. Hmm, I just saw it. Oh, like I said, this glitter brush, this cute little journal. Got for, what was that, $3.47? So $2.23 was normally about a $4 journal, $5 journal. The texture paste was normally $10. I got it for $2.98. This cute little budget planner, I got one for me, one for my daughter. Adorable. Has great things inside of it. Stickers, so you can do your own little, you know, budget reminder system. It has absolutely everything in there. Cute, 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 cute colors. I love them. Very, vi vi very bright and vibrant. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to do very well on this video, apparently speaking. And so cute. I think we got these for about $3.50. So great. All right, now my daughter had to have this. She loves the princesses, even though she's 18. Loves them. And um, I think it was normally 10 bucks. We got it for five. Cute little inserts. So, and that was not on clearance. This is a brand new, um, a brand new set. So she did use a 50% off coupon that I got every time I bought something I got a 50% off coupon so we just kept using buying and using so that was fun you cannot use the um, oh these cute little journals oh my goodness what were they oh I'm sorry that that princess crack um, Phil was normally $7.99 she got it for $3.99 these journals $9.99 maybe she got them for $2.60 um I forgot what I was going to say. Life is a compass. I believe she got this one at Michael's. $6.99, $3.97 uh, is what she got them for. So 
fun. She loves to think about traveling and what she wants to do when she uh, finishes high school. So, so cute. Yep, they're normally six ninety nine. Got them for three dollars and ninety seven cents. This is at Michaels. Michaels definitely did not have as much as Joanne's. So, we enjoyed it. We just kept. Oh, I was going to say you cannot use the. You know, if you spend forty dollars or or fifteen dollars, you get five dollars back. Those do not work because these are on clearance. All right, some inserts, guys, for the Happy Planner. I think they were two dollars and ninety eight cents, and they were originally eight dollars. So then she had some just some paper to go in there. I thought, oh my goodness, she's going to have the best. Um, journal and probably one for next year as well. I'm just trying to look here. Oh, the Stronger Together. I just saw that. $25. Originally, she got it for $9.73. So she had one journal for her homework, one for her crafting, one for her budgeting, one for her workout, one for her job. She just had different ones that she could take on the go whenever she was doing that particular um, activity. Like, for instance, when she goes and does her exercising, she's been doing really great at that. She goes just about once a day, if not three or four times a week. And then she can write down in her journal what she did and how she did for that um, day, you know, and then keep track of it, which is the first part of, you know, knowing what you're doing and doing it right. So she's been doing that since October. She's been doing really great celebrate each little victory super cute journal oh some more stickers these sticker packs are so expensive i think they're normally eleven dollars is that right i'm sorry i'm just checking here normally eleven dollars and we got them for four dollars and 48 cents so less than half price coffee run so cute Again, a little bit more budgeting, but um, lots of different... Oh, this one is specific, specifically a budget pad. And then this one is a wellness pad. So this was marked $9.97. And let me see. Is it marked $9.97? Oh, this is the mask. She got 50% off of that. So about $15 for both of those items. Then this wellness pack... I'm trying to find this stuff, guys, so I can get you a really good price, the right price for them. I think she got them for about $5.60, but there are a million and one stickers in here that she could really do a lot with. She just went to town when we were together. She really enjoyed getting as much stuff as, as she can. Stretch. Oh, this is her wellness one, Stretch. So, you know, when she's having a rough time or whatever, this says... Um, Instead of, you know, going to eat, which is our normal reaction as girls, at least for the two of us, it gives her some different motivational things like stretch or, or stay positive or have some quiet time, do that kind of stuff. Now, these little extender packs, they're so you can make your, you know, make your um, stacks of paper into an actual uh, journal or a binder. $3 and what is that, 97 cents? That comes down to $2.98, and I think they were $10 to begin with, but I might be wrong. They might have been 8 only. And here's another one. She's a dreamer. Like I said, so she just got the ones that she wanted, took out what pages she wanted from each of these things, and then put aside the, the rest. I know she's doing lots of different things, maybe even doing a next year journal as well, or a planner. So I just wanted to show you all the inside, see how cute these were. Love the little quotes on them. Think happy thoughts. Very cute. And since these don't have dates, you know, the January, February, March, you can do whatever you want to do. Create your own sunshine. That's cool. That's really pretty. And I don't know, you know, Anne, but still, it's very cute. The ampersand. And then finally, a little pocket uh, to stick some stuff in. And then blank uh, planner pages. So she probably has you know, at least two, if not three years worth of journals that she can create as she needs to. Lots of different things. So cute. 
I spent a lot of money, but for what I got, I was really excited. All right, these were marked seven forty-seven. She got these for five sixty, two ninety-eight, and three seventy-three at the end. Oh, you know what? The clay mask. Instead of uh, fifteen dollars, she got them for ten dollars. Like I said, so so cute. Um, another little journal insert. Remember, everything that you're seeing that with the right clearance has an additional 25% off. So, so happy. I actually picked up a budget and planner for myself because apparently after this shopping experience, I needed one. <laughs> oh my goodness, we had such fun. And this is actually, it has, um, you know, you rip them off as you need. So that's kind of cool. You can just rip it off and then stick it in your planner. So those um, discs are a little bit, they take a little bit of time to figure out, but once you get them, you're like, oh, and then you can just add easy to them. She got tons and tons of these, um, like, journals, and three of them came, came with cute little bracelets. This is her um, large budget. All the other ones were add or add-on packs. Stop wishing, start doing. Just little helpful reminders that you are trying to save some money. She wants to travel. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. I really like these expense trackers. I got a little one like this. Um, and on the back it says, you know, what could you do better? What did you, you know, what did you trip up on? So cute. And uh, just, you know, it's like a um, little journaling along with it. And a month at the class, what plants would you make today? What'd you pay? What kind of, you know, what for your, for us would be what for your home? What for your um, hobbies? And that's a big one for me. I spend a lot of my hobbies. So, very cute. I love it. And even if she uses it for half the year and just gets in the mindset... And that's a cute little um, pocket there. And just get in the mindset of saving money. Who cares? You know what I mean? For 75% off, that's great. All right. Wonderful. Here's the Stronger Together and Get Chic Done. <laughs> that's so fun. All right. Normally $7.47. She picked it up for $5.60. I couldn't get an actual price, but it was between $24.99 and $27.99 is what I saw similar, similar things for. These are little inserts that you can, you know what I mean, just put in. I hope you wrench your Joann's really quickly. I also wanted to tell you that I got some of those like Rask carts, but the Memory Keeper Rask carts from them. They were on sale for $30, which is Michael's everyday price, you know, $29.99. And then because I picked it up instead of wanting going in on the store, I got an additional 25% off. So I think I got them for about $20 bucks each, $23 each. So I picked up three of those. <laughs> I was having such a great time saving money. Well, spending money and saving money. My husband was looking at me, you know, when you go to the store and you're like, I didn't need this, but it was on sale, so I saved money. So this is a cute exercise one, and it says Stronger Together. So, you know, girls helping girls, very cute. Lots of different stickers, lots of different cute little sayings, and she really liked this. She was so giddy. She sat down and put lots of these together and just went through all of them, and she did get tired and have to put them away, but she has some projects to do and something fun to do, you know, other than what other whatever girls do at age 18, I don't think they... She watches a lot of YouTube. I'm not going to, you know... She doesn't watch TV, but she lots, watches a lot of YouTube, which I don't understand. I mean, I watch YouTube, but not shows on YouTube. That's just weird. She lots, watches a lot of shows on YouTube. This this Get Chic Done, I believe it was $27.99. And um, it was less than 10 bucks. so she got some cute things. Very, very cute little envelope there another one 
and at this point I'm like, all right, I can't get it. In. I can't put it back in the in the stuff. She was gonna have to do it. So, and I love those cactuses. I wish that was part of the um, or the cacti, whatever. I wish it was part of the. See, I can't get them in. <laughs> I couldn't get back in, so I was like handing them off to my daughter. Get this out of here. But I wish that was part of the pack because I love cacti. Cactuses. I say cactuses. What do you guys say? Cacti, cactuses. Babes, support babes. Sunshine on my mind. That's me, definitely. I love my sunshine. Don't get it very much here in Michigan. But hopefully we'll get back to Arizona soon. So cute. And I love this one. that says, no bad days. You know, I think you make your own happiness in life. If you just learn to be content and enjoy the small things. You can choose to have a good day or a bad day. I know things come our way and we can't help them, but we can look at the positives like, you know, always thinking, well, it could be worse. I couldn't have that money in the bank or, well, it could be worse. I, you know, I do have a roof over my head at least. We Just how you look at things, put a positive perspective instead of a negative perspective. And, um, again, some reflecting on your mood kind of a situation. I think that's important to keep track of your moods. And if you can get your mood to a good, stable, you know what, I'm happy in my life. You can be happy in your life. I, I don't think that other people make your happiness. I think you make your happiness. Maybe I'm wrong if you're a psychologist out there thinking, no, that's not true. Sorry, but I know that when I'm content with what I have and with what I will have in my life. I know I'm never going to be that billionaire that have people wait on me all the time, but I'm content with what I have and I'm happy to have what I do have because I um, try to think about all the things that I do have rather than all the things that I don't have. So let me know what you think in the um, comment section below if you make your own happy or if really you just can't. It just seems like, you know, no matter what you can do. All right, guys, these Prismacolors, I got them. They were on clearance. Let's see, eleven ninety seven. dollars Got them for $4.58. No, that can't be right. I got them for $8.98, normally $20. I think I just missed something. Oh, look how cute. These, um, you know how many uh, foil sheets I have. And this was so great. I don't know how much it originally was. Let me see if I can find it. The, um, hmm. And these letters, again, I told you were $1. ten each. I'm doing a terrible job because I don't have these. Oh, the foil storages, storage, normally $15. I got it for $5.60. And I just need an S and an I, and I got everything. Don't you hate it when you don't know which way the S is, which way up the S is? So I got everything for about half price so I'm going to put paint these up and put them on my walls I'm hoping to do a black and white craft room downstairs and then I'm going to do punches of color everywhere I don't know if I should do each one individual colors or pour paint them I haven't decided I think I'm going to do some brainstorming on that all right look at this guys distressed oxide paints if you can believe it that was on sale I actually went back instead of the spray oxides I got some daubers too they were on a great clearance so that was fun I have been looking at these distress crayons forever and a day this is some alcohol lift but this these stress bands I have been putting them in my cart and then out of my cart in my cart and out of my cart forever and I finally got these for what five dollars and sixty cents rather than fourteen bucks so heck yeah that was a steal and you know I want to do some uh, alcohol painting stuff and I got everything that I could get that was um, distressed or ranger because I thought heck man you can't beat that and I will be using them these hardcore panels were normally $7.99 I got them for two dollars and ninety eight cents and these sprays, are they normally $14.99? And I got them for $9. Got a pretty good price on them. Now these are normally $5.99. They were marked $2.97. So I got them for $2.23. Woo! Under 50% off. I had such a great time finding what I was on clearance. 
These were marked $9.97, and I got them for art journaling. I thought, you know what, I could do some art journaling, or if I need something to do a really quick card, and here's a background. The polka dots are pretty, but this I specifically got for art journaling. And I believe at the end of the day, I got these for about three bucks. So I thought for some art journaling, woo, fun, fun. Um, and they're, you know, because washi, washi tape in four inch size, normally don't get it, but I could um, tear it in half and have some great texture or just some background. So normally 10 bucks. What, what are they marked? Four ninety seven. So I got them for $3.73. Super cool. Here's that extra, uh, um, whoops, something fell. Here's those extra little foamies. I really wanted that heart for my background journal because I'm going to do a January and February. Here's a, um, oh, a photo box that my daughter got at Michael's for 50% off. Wasn't on clearance, but heck, when you can get 50% off, that works great. All right, this more phone, guys. It was um, marked eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. Got it for five bucks, and I just really got these molds for my kids, for my grandkids' is, um, uh, kinetic sand, which we got for Christmas, and I play with it just as much as they do. These uh, jewelry pliers are just regular for around the house pliers. I got them for two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Is that right? No, I just got them on sale for three dollars and twenty cents. So that was fun. This is fabric tape, guys. Isn't that awesome? I've never saw fabric tape before, but here's some just distress Tim Holtz Ranger um, fabric tape again for some art journaling. Two dollars and ninety-seven cents. Are you serious? So I got it for two dollars and twenty-three cents. I didn't. I couldn't find them online uh, to see what the normal price was, but I thought it was fun. And the fabric is a little bit different, not just washi tape. So it's going to create huge texture on my art journal. I mean, this is thick. I don't know what you would use fabric tape for other than for art journaling. If you guys have any suggestions on what I can use with this other than for art journal journaling, let me know. But I am going to use mine for art journaling if I don't find anything out. So, And those that's in the, what you know, that's his regular old... Um, I have tons of this looking, this uh, pattern. I really like it. So I don't know why I'm going to put this back in the in the uh, carton because I'm just going to throw it in my art journaling paper. That's it, you guys. If you can believe it, I spent a ton of money, but I got some really cool things. Hope you find some great stuff at your local Joann's and Michael's and get it for the additional 25% off. Thanks, guys.